on the invention of Sir Elias de Los Santos, electromagnetic generator. December 21, 2022. Let's make it clear. The battery they are using in their latest model is not a battery per SE, but a supercapacitor, which functions like a battery, storage, but only for a short time, such as, while the engine is running, not like real or traditional battery which stores electricity for years. The short-term storage capacitor is enough, because the electric generator which Tatang Elias invented can generate electricity virtually instantly and in huge volume, so no need for long storage battery, just a temporary storage, which is the capacitor, and the supercapacitor for huge amount. So, the use of supercapacitor, made by Tesla Corporation, as short-time battery is only to store the present electricity including the excess. It is not, I repeat, the supercapacitor that produces the electricity but the gadget which Tatang is hiding inside the box, his invention. It is this hidden generator that Tatang Elias invented and hides inside the box that produces slash generates the electricity, from the air. The capacitor battery only serves as storage, temporary storage, example for the day, no need to store for tomorrow, just the current day or current trip. The latest version slash model is said to be based on light frequency, not on Wi-Fi slash radio frequency. What you accused as the engine secretly connected to a battery, hence, causing it to run, is false. It is connected to the supercapacitor, not battery. It is not battery but capacitor, supercapacitor. The capacitor slash supercapacitor is a storage-like battery but it has no capacity to store electricity long after the engine or generator is turned off, the capacitor is a storage only as long as the engine slash generator is running, it no longer stores and cannot store electricity once the engine is turned off. So, those capacitors slash supercapacitors from Tesla are empty. They become full or filled up only when used or during use and there is input electricity coming from the engine, generator, dynamo, going to the capacitor. So, all of you are wrong who said it is a battery connected to the generator. It is supercapacitor. And the supercapacitor, as I said, has no ability to store electricity of the previous night assuming we charged it to Morilco, grid, as you assumed. Tatang Elias was clear that it is supercapacitor from Tesla corporations, not battery. So it cannot store electricity if charged the previous night and moreover, capacitor cannot be charged like battery, it only acts as receiver and storage of direct current from a currently running machine slash generator slash dynamo. Someone stated in the other video that the idea of Tatang Elias such as light being used as direct source of electricity with no combustion or hot fusion done is not possible. It is against physics so they say. According to them, strong explosion or combustion like in CERN or in atomic bomb or in an internal combustion engine has to happen first, before you can split the atom or the water into oxygen and hydrogen, etc. Or at the least, you disturb the electricity sucked by or flowing into a magnet by, say, cutting it to produce friction, hence, electricity. They do not know the other way, one which I nickname cold fusion or peaceful fusion. I answered them in the other blog, the conventional physics is faulty in the sense that it lacks at least one piece, at least one piece is missing and that is most important, namely, the one now called as dark matter, the space between objects. To the old physicists, dark matter is nothing. And to them, that space is a hindrance in travel, it causes us to spend long time to travel from, say, one planet to another, for space, according to conventional physicists is a gap, a physical gap, a distance. But to the modern physicists who are quantum physicists, the space between planets, atoms, or any created objects is not a distance nor a gap but a connection, it connects the two objects, thus, in this space found the so-called black hole which is a tunnel that connects the two objects like a highway and this connection eliminates distance and gap in the fact that if you use this tunnel as your road to go to the other planet, instead of using conventional spaceship which is physical, your travel time will be reduced to literally zero. Instant arrival. Therefore, 
the space between objects is not a gap nor a distance but a connection. Also, we are mistaken to say that the space between objects is, lightless, dark. It is actually light, white light. White light means all colors are in perfect balance and harmony so that also their vibrations frequencies motion are in perfect balance that there is not imbalances or commotion or disturbance, hence, very still, very quiet, very peaceful, hence, very difficult to detect, hence, appears to be empty or to have nothing, when actually it is something teeming with lives but only very balanced and at peace. Also, the physical eyes as well as our physical telescope has limits, there is a speed of movement, vibration, that is too fast to the eye slash telescope that it ends up invisible to the eye slash telescope. Actually, the empty nothing between objects is more spiritual than material, it is part of the spiritual realm. And it is not dark, it is light, white light mostly, and as such, all its creation is in perfect harmony and balance that its stillness and peace doesn't produce any commotion or disturbance that it is mistaken as proof that nothing exists there since no one or nothing is detected to be in motion. This information is taking us closest to the full understanding of what spirit is. What makes quantum physics different or quantum is our recognition of the nothing as something, of the empty space as full, of the gap or distance as actually connection, and a force, and a light, white light. The Filipino is a gentle people. He is the gentle gentile. And it is then appropriate that it is easier for him to discover the peaceful way to split the atom or to split the water or to harness the unlimited electromagnetic energy found in space without causing explosion or combustion. Ingr. Daniel Dingell did it. Now, Sir Elias de los Santos is doing the same, the gentle quiet way. Macrohan Automation Sales Team At Manan Coco EU Lanaba in November 2000, John Ding Young of Formosa Plastics Group, FPG, sought Dingell out and, convinced that the invention was genuine, signed a preliminary understanding with him for several projects. 3. He aimed to have business partners, get an international patent, and commercialize his technology. 4. In December 2008, Dingell became even more controversial when he was found guilty and sentenced to a maximum of 20 years imprisonment in an Estefa, swindling, case filed against him by Young and FPG. In a decision dated December 9, 2008, Judge Rolando Howe of the Paranaki Regional Trial Courts Branch 257 found him guilty of taking $410,000 from FPG saying that Dingell defrauded Young when the inventor failed to fulfill his obligation of developing his hydrogen reactor and creating experimental cars in 2003. Young claimed that Dingell signed a joint venture agreement with FPG, and initially received $30,000 in goodwill money and $20,000 for research and development. Young said that Dingell then visited the FPG headquarters in Taipei and asked for $300,000 so he could purchase three cars which he would use as prototypes when he returned to the Philippines. Young added that in September 2001 he sent another $60,000 in additional funds, as agreed upon in the joint venture agreement. 3. Former Solicitor General of the Philippines Francisco Chavez, whom Dingell asked to serve as his counsel, said that he would appeal the court decision before it became final on Christmas Eve 2008. 3. Dingell died on October 18, 2010, in Las Pinas City, Metro Manila in the Philippines. 1. Walla N.A. Mag Invest S.A. Aden. No one will invest with U.S. anymore. Manon Coco E.U. Lanaba. Thanks for the information you shared. At best, we have confirmation that the invention by Ingridingel was genuine. That is the most important. As to his Estefa case, I would like to quickly say that part of the major blame goes to the government. Oh sure, no one will now easily trust us, especially when this information about Ingridingel's Estefa case becomes public. Only us is left to trust ourselves. We know it's genuine invention, so why should we look for outsider to finance it or why depend on foreign investors? Can't our P10.00 become billions if collected?
it is not the lack of money but our lack of unity, that is our basic problem. They had succeeded in their work to divide us, according to their secret agenda to wit, divide and rule. Capitalism and communism by same masters, the Illuminati. We will establish their governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. Pit against each other like cocks. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. Subtle control methods. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will guide them kindly and gently letting them think they are guiding themselves. Create redo or mutual hatred. We will foment animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule, or death, whichever suits us best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. Prosperity for us through their division and wars. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. Truth about oneness kept. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them, that we are all one. This they must never know. But if they ever find out they are our equal, we shall perish then. Secrecy and ignorance are keys. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never, ever find out what we have done, for if they do, we shall have no place to run. No one shall give us shelter. Thus, it is true, united we stand, divided we fall. Some of their most effective tools of division. One family names to divide mankind into millions of families, instead of one family. Two divided into nations or countries. Three division through race or skin color. For religion, even in Christianity, there are at least 40,000 sects and denominations, each telling their recruit or member that those outside their sect will not be saved and go to hell. We will accomplish much if the first problem we will solve is our being divided, our lack of unity. By the way, the same problem happened to Ingr Ishmael of Izo. He also got jailed for Estefa. But in fairness to Ingris Dingil and Aviso, I say a pattern here, namely, the foreigner investors, except those who are sincere, appear to use money to exploit the weakness or need of our inventors with the end in mind, to destroy them. Or at least, hinder their invention, when they found our inventor reluctant or not willing to share it to them probably because our inventor also discover some kind of treachery. We, Filipinos, must unite, and provide our inventors sufficient funds to prevent them from falling into this funding trap that ends up in Estefa and jail, and suspension of their invention. Oh my! We must help save Tatang Elias from falling into the same trap.